Hello and welcome back to another DCOM tutorial series. Today we are going to be talking about cut trees, rock smash rocks, and strength boulders. We're just going to be talking about how you can add them into your game. They're pretty simple. They are just regular objects that we add like any other object, but we have to give them the specific sprite object ID that we want them to have. Um, for the cut tree, it's object event graphics, cuttable tree. For the rock smash rock, it's object event graphics, breakable rock. And for the strength boulders, it's object event graphics, pushable boulder. Um, now, when we give them our the sprite IDs that we want, the graphics IDs, we also, um, the game has them as movement type look around usually in the code. I'm not sure it actually matters, but I put it there anyway. But the important thing is the script and the flag. So the script uh, that we have for the cut tree is just event script cut tree. The script for the rock smash is event script rock smash, and the script for the boulder is event script strength boulder. Now these are not scripts that I've written, these are scripts that are their common event scripts that are in the game, that are used, they're given to every single rock smash rock, every single strength boulder, every single cut tree. Um, and then we are also giving them temp flags. Now the temp flags obviously get set back when we load back into the map. So um, that is why, you know, some of the, you know, the cut trees and the rocks are, the, the, they only disappear temporarily. Um, if you wanted them to disappear permanently, you can give them non-temps, like non-temp flags, and you can make that happen. It'll, they'll disappear forever. However, if you're adding a lot of these into your game, you're going to be using a lot of flag space, and that's not necessarily like, what you want to be using it for but you know depending on your game it might not matter at all so you know depending on your needs you can make them disappear forever um, but there are probably better ways to do what you want to accomplish but anyway we're going to take a brief look at the scripts for them so this is the field move scripts.ing file this has um, uh, you know the field moves that we can use dive waterfall which we're not going to talk about much but we are going to talk about cut uh, now, for me to test this demonstration, I didn't feel like giving myself the flags for, you know, the first badge and making sure that someone in my party um, can actually use the cut move, making sure someone's there for strength and rack smash as well. So I just commented out these lines, and if you want to make it so that you don't need HMs to use any of these HM moves, you can just come out, comment out these three lines for all of these. Go to if unset flag badge one get, so that just checks whether or not you have the flag. And then this one, check party move, just checks whether or not you have cut in your party. Um, and then it goes to a you know separate script if you don't. But we can just comment out all three of those and it's just gonna jump right in. It's gonna set the field effect argument, which is uh, an argument that is used by this field effect use cut on tree. Um, the field effect use cut on tree is the thing that's actually doing a lot of the code. It's doing the graphic, the animation, everything. Um, so, and then we wait state for the field effect and then we know we go to the tree cut down and it just keeps going, blah, blah, blah. It's not that important. You can take a deeper look at this if you want, um, read through it so you actually understand it and check out the field effects if you wanna do more complicated things. They're pretty interesting. But anyway, we do the same thing for Rock Smash. We just take out the lines that check for the third badge and check to see if the party move is in your um, is in your team and we do the same for the strength boulder except we leave this one here this is the flag flag sys use strength it's the one that checks to see that you are already using strength so that you can push around you know multiple strength boulders without having to reuse strength every single time um, so we are going to leave that one but coming out the other two um, and again this is the same thing it uses the field effect for strength and uh, the field effect is what handles the majority of the code so pretty simple we just add these in we give them temporary flags and we give them their common event scripts um, nothing too complicated um, so when we actually get into our code we can see here this tree looks like it can be cut down you want to cut it blank use cut now i don't have any pokemon in my party at all so it's not even gonna show anything if you wanted to take out this field effect thing that pops up you could do that it's a little bit more complicated though and out of the bounds of this video um, but most people are not going to want to do that but here we go now you can see we can do all of the uh you know normal field effects for these and now they're back because we go back out and back in and the flags are temporary so they do not save the state of the objects pretty simple pretty simple that is cut trees rock smash rocks and strength boulders 
Um, if you have any questions about it, leave a comment in the video comment section or on our Discord. Um, either one is fine. Otherwise, we will see you on the next one.